Welcome back to the Bare Minimum Podcast. <laughs> it is episode number nine. I'm pretty, sure. I'm pretty sure it's number nine. It could be. We hope, <laughs> we hope it's number nine. And what's your name? My name's Charlie Neef. Your name is? Uh, Jude Pointer. Um, so yeah, we're back after another two-week <laughs> break. <laughs> yeah. We might as well stop doing this. We might as well just like just film it when whenever. We're sorry. Well, no, to be fair, we said in the last pod that you were going on holiday. Mm. And you went on holiday. Where I did. You go did. On holiday? I went to Dubai. Dubai. I went to go see my brother. It was uh, it was good. When my mum and dad uh, flew out, it was great. Missed the snow just about. You missed the what? What here? Yeah. Wow. So obviously it snowed yeah. where well, uh, in Brighton. Yeah. Um, and uh, we left. Dead anyway, we left at five or six in the morning. Mm-hmm. Calf cramp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> left at, uh, five five or six in the morning. Hop in the car. It's just starting to pour it down the snow. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh no, <laughs> not good. Because basically my my pops, he gets quite frustrated and quite stressed on the flight day. Dad so mode, dad w- holiday what mode. You, you, what you don't want is anything to piss him off. No. So we're driving, and uh, <laughs> first thing he goes, "Where are my headphones?" And I'm like, "Oh, oh no, it started." And Mum was like, "I don't know, you gone?" He's like, "No, I haven't gone. Can't feel him." And then um, um, my dad was like, "Oh, we're gonna have to go back then." And mum's like, like well, we can't because we, my mum posted the front door key through the door. Because <laughs> no my sister yeah. was, um, was she didn't come with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, so she was still sleeping. We obviously couldn't wake her up. Yeah. She would have to bang on the door. Yeah. So couldn't get in. And that's just annoyed my dad. Oh, no way. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, and then uh, drove up to Gatwick. Um, yeah, it was all good to be fair. Security got through fine. Didn't really have any problems. Mum mm-hmm. got stopped. Must have had oh. something dodgy on her. Um, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I got straight through. Flying colours. Dad got straight through. And then we went in the lounge. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. we went in the lounge. It's pretty dead. But yeah. do you know what? It's quiet and you don't have some absolute weirdos everywhere. Just sitting everywhere. Yeah. You can get some food. Have a little brekkie. Lovely. I didn't actually fill up too much i wanted to mm. but i didn't but the good news was what was good about that lounge my one of my dad's mates was in there oh. so i put him in a great mood uh, for the flight what working or going on the flight uh, well? so he knew he was going to be in the lounge yeah. and then they both saw each other and then my dad's mate was going cape verde oh mm. wow. my dad's going at my dad's going cape verde next week oh. what for uh, a little holiday Another what? Yeah, you know. Fair play. You know, you know, you know. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not going. But um, but um. First. How long was the flight to Dubai? I don't know how. Long uh, it was. about six and a half hours. Ooh. Yeah. So I was hoping there was going to be Creed Three on there. Mm-hmm. No promo, of course. Just saying like, what are you doing? Is it even up yet? It is. Yeah, it's in cinemas. Oh. And I was hoping. I was praying. I was like, please. But unfortunately, it wasn't. And there was some Gutted. dead films. You know what I did? What? Listened to my tunes for hours and yeah. played Pac-Man. Wow. Not on my phone, on that, the screen. There was Pac-Man on the screen. Oh, right. Yeah, there. yeah. So, so if, uh, I remember when I went on a plane to mm. America, I played Zombies versus... What is it? Zombies vs. Plants versus Zombies? Mm. Elite game. Oh, to you. <laughs> Plants versus Zombies? Yeah, it was banging, mate. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, it was balling. But yeah, no, it was good. And so then we landed. Uh, my brother picked us up in his, um, in his hired whip. Mm-hmm. For the for the week, he got it off his mate. Um, it's actually a really nice car. Mm. Uh, zoomed about. He took took me in it one of the days, and we literally just zoomed up yeah. and down. It was like pretty cool. Um, but yeah, picked us up. Good to see him. Gave him a nice nice hug. Oh, uh, probably love. Yeah, haven't seen him uh, in in, in a, it hasn't been too long, but I haven't seen him in in like mm. um happy. Last time I saw him basically was the funeral, so right, it wasn't yeah. really like the yeah the yeah, best yeah. time in it. Yeah, so, of course. Um, but yeah, and then uh, we kind of just got there, uh, got there quite late because our flight was delayed a bit. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was it. Flight got delayed. Bloody nightmare. They all do though. Like it's just yeah. like, trains and um, planes, they all get delayed now. Yeah, got to the hotel. Honestly, couldn't believe my eyes how sick the hotel was. Yeah. That's, best, yeah, you showed us to be Honestly, fair, best hotel I've ever stayed in. Mm. Um, it was on the Palm, if anyone's ever been to the Palm in Dubai. Um, and yeah, had a view of the Burj Khalifa. Oh, lit. Which was unreal. Right. Obviously, it was just in the distance, yeah. but you could still see it and it was right. sick. That's mad. Um, and then 
first night I just ordered room service and I just felt like a king, <laughs> man. Rinsed it. Because uh, me and my brother were sharing a room, but for the first night, my brother had to go back to his house, right. uh, to his flat. Yeah. Um, so I had the, all, had the room to myself and mm-hmm. honestly, I just felt like a king. Mad. Ordered a Wagyu burger. Wagyu? Yeah. What's that? It's a type, type of beef. Oh. Quite, quite. Quite spending, oh. yeah. Wagyu burger, and I just sat there watching a bit. Of, I watched Spurs lose, that was it. Oh, what the Sheffield? <laughs> no, oh, the other one, Wolves. AC. Oh, AC. Oh, AC we drew. Manny. We drew. Well, yeah, we lost on aggregate. Yeah, went to that but, game, it was um, very toxic. I mean, we're both out of Europe now, aren't we? Yeah, you got knocked out last night. More London forever. <laughs> yeah, now you can focus on the league, sadly, and same Bloody as us. Hell. Yeah, Martinelli missed penalty. I watched the highlights at work. Gutted. Mate, that goal from Sporting Lisbon, that Gob was smacked. ridiculous. Gob smack. The fact that, the the other thing, right, Gosh. from a goalkeeper point of view as well, Aaron Ramsdale has launched himself. Oh, like, mate. Like, big he's full time. stretch. Like, he's actually at full stretch. He's, like he's mid-air and he's still, like, the geezer's still plucked it. What do you think, what do you think he could have done better? Positioning? No, 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 this is the thing because you... You're not when you play a high line, line when you yeah. play, play a high line, the goalkeeper has to play a high line as well. And it's one of those, if the goalkeeper is outside of his box and someone lobs you from 50 yards out, mm. you just have to sit there and clap your hands. Right. Clap your hands. Literally. <laughs> like, you can't, you, I don't think there's much I couldn't can, believe it, mate. Do. I thought, do, do you know what? We, we deserve to lose the game as well. We Did didn't you? play well. No. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I get why he bought Jesus, Jesus off at half time, yeah. but at the same time, he looked fit. He looked sharp, mm. looked ready. Saving it for the weekend, though. Yeah, true. Big game. Big game on Sunday. Because yeah. if we beat Palace, we'll be eight points clear. City will have a game in hand. But that puts pressure on City. Yeah. Then it'll be 10 games to go. International yeah. break. I feel like your game last night was probably the same as the Tottenham one the last week. Mm. Like, went to it and it was where, it, where I was standing, it was so toxic. Like, me and my dad had so many arguments at the end because people just shout and leave you out. And I was like, mate, you're a mug. Like, mm. you just spent 60 quid to come watch a nil nil and you were putting money in Daniel Levy's pocket. Yeah, facts. No need facts. to stop. Because these people are so leave you out yet, but they won't go to these protests. No. And all this well, what do you f- stuff. What do you think of, like, do you want him gone? Do you think he needs to go? I think Enoch needs to go. But Levy needs to stay, put money into the club, get Paratici and let him just run the football side of it. Mm. Right? And then get in either Lewis, Enrique or Poch. Yeah. Do you know what? I don't know. It's so difficult with Spurs because you just don't know what type of manager they need. You just... No, like... it, you do. You just need an attacking... <sighs> start. We need a manager, yeah, right? I reckon what will happen. Conte will leave at the end of the season. Right, and then we yeah, after gone. that we have he's to bring gone. in a manager. We need to stop bringing in these big name managers like Jose and Antonio because they just don't fit the style of play that we're looking for. We need a philosophy, yeah, that's just going to stick to what like what Tottenham is, and that's an attacking mm. style of play. It was more pain for Harry, wasn't it? Harry yeah. Payne. That's that's yeah. Do you reckon he'll leave though or not? No, no, nah, I mean stay. He'll, stay. he'll stay. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know what? It, do you know what it'd be? What new manager come in, convince him about a new yeah, project every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, and we'll, Look, we're and we'll win the league. And we'll, no, and we'll offer a, we'll offer him okay, another contract. Okay. Yeah, and, but we'll offer him a contract as well. Yeah, he'll he'll get big bucks. Yeah. Um, but you know, you know. We'll see. We'll see. What else did you get up to in, in Dubai? Dubai. Uh, so a bit went, of tangent there. Yeah. So we did. Yeah. Um. But yeah, went to the desert, mm-hmm. and uh, firstly went on the um, like the buggies oh yeah and i went uh went it was me and my dad and i drove and mm-hmm. honestly it was the one of the sickest things of, like, i've ever done like yeah. you feel like you're going like really slow but like you can do like drift turns that's and it all in the sand and obviously the the desert is so orange and it's just so nice yeah um did that for like half an hour obviously you soon get soon get bored of it yeah uh but then they take you up the desert yeah. and they take you in this jeep big jeep they yeah. inflate the tires and basically you need the seatbelt on, mm. otherwise you are going out the window. Go and I, I stupidly Didn't. thought, do you know what? <laughs> I'm a risk it. I'm gonna go at the very back. Yeah. So it, this seven seater. Yeah. So the boot seat. Yeah. Because basically there was four of us, mm-hmm. but. One in the front, and obviously you've got three seats in the middle, but I didn't want to be jammed in the middle. Yeah. So I wanted space at the back. But you can feel it the most in the back. So, <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I felt sick yeah. after. And uh, my poor mum as well. Like She she, she didn't have a good time, really. Mm. 
Uh, she so, she did. She she liked it, but at the same time, like it was bloody yeah. I've was... been on a roller coaster, mate. Honestly, it's like <laughs> you're swaying just. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was good. And my brother, that was my brother's Christmas present to me and the family. So oh, it was like good that. to it was good to see that. And um, yeah, it was just overall really good, good trip. Mm -hmm. so had some really nice restaurants at the um, at the hotel. So mm. they had like loads of restaurants, and that was included oh, in the in the in, in the, the package. package. That's sick. And um, oh mate, honestly, the food is the food just... like top tier out there. It's to it's top tier. I was expecting it to be the same as England, really. Yeah. But like everything I had, just just hit different. Yeah. I think is it, isn't, over isn't the Salt Bay out there? Does he live he, there? He has, a, he has a restaurant out yeah. there. Yeah. That's but, Spenny, though. Yeah, too Spenny. We're, <laughs> we're not that actually. Yeah. yeah. But soon come. We're taking over yeah. the pointers. Don't yeah. worry. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we went to... So, the f second night, we went to the Burj Khalifa. Mm. Um, Unreal. Do you know what? I made the worst mistake of my life. What? Yeah. Goes to my brother. So, it's still the tallest building in the world, isn't it? The Taj Mahal. <laughs> I called it the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal. Yeah. How have you got that mixed I up? I don't know. I actually don't Taj know. Taj Mahal, Burj Khalifa. I actually don't know. My brother's just cracking up. He tells mom and dad. Obviously, it's embarrassing for Taj me. Taj Mahal. But, you know, we move. We move. Do, do you know where the Taj Mahal is? It's in India. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Um, yeah. But, well, clearly I didn't. But, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we had... So, there was like, all different restaurants in this bit where we were. And it was literally outside the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. And they have these fountains outside Burj Khalifa. Yeah. And they play like they play like a certain song, and the fountains go with the song. Oh, that's and sick. It was sick! I've seen that on that. And like, uh, <laughs> and um, they played Thriller, and it was just so <laughs> it was just so funny. It was like Thriller, <laughs> but like honestly, the fountains were going with it. I was thinking, yeah. ooh, like yeah, go like cha cha cha, but a um, bit of salsa, but um, but yeah, it was sick. Um, and then yeah, got back. The pool was just like there were so many pools, all the pools. Mm. Um, Unreal. Uh, and you literally, it's one of them where you're laying down in your sun lounger, just mm. pull the button, someone comes straight over. Bloody hell! Someone comes straight over, yeah. Mate, this is like first class. <laughs> so someone comes straight over, Mate. and uh, and then you're just like, yeah, can I get him? Please, please. What, just a little buzzer thing, mate. Honestly, it's on That's the side, side of the like the um gazebo yeah. thing. What are they called? Oh, no, you're, oh, no, no, yeah, no. it's on the side of that. I know what you're and you just go, but press it. They come within a minute. That's sick. And then obviously it just gets. I'm very blessed, people, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, very blessed, kid. Um, adult now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very blessed. So uh, obviously I didn't pay for anything for the holiday. I'm real. Um, but, um, yeah, so you just sign off on the check. Stuck. Do you get, you get confused? Yeah, there? yeah, I got, because I was saying about something else and confused my little brain. Um, but yeah, then you just, you sign the check and sign which room you're in. And I took fucking advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. Just rinsed it. No, I didn't, I didn't, no, I didn't too much. There was only one time I was on my own and, uh. No, to be fair, if you get that privilege, I might yeah it was don't take it for granted yeah it was it was unbelievable but yeah it was it was a really nice five days away and do you know what as well just sitting there on like the sun lounger and just kind of reflecting back to how these past few months have gone for me mm. and how quickly i'm progressing but also the company's progressing and what I'm doing is sensation. Mm, I saw that on your story. And that, that, funny enough, when you put that on your story, yeah, mm. I did a lecture about reflection. Yeah. So, like, it's really good to obviously yeah, just, like, yeah. take the time off and reflect. Yeah. And, it was and just, learn about everything. It was just kind of, yeah, literally, like you said, reflecting on everything and mm -hmm. thinking now the next steps ahead to, because I'm going traveling in June. So, the next steps ahead, I've got 79 days until I go traveling now. So Mad. it's game time Counting now. I uh, had my first session back in the box today as well. Lovely. Which is good. Um, I've seen Kai's been smashing it too. He started. Hey? He st did he smashing not it. Oh, he's done one session. He's done one yeah, session. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, do you know what? He says he's back every time and then he, he <laughs> never do, does. But yeah. I've, do you know what? I did him a program. So he's, oh, sticking, he's sticking to it now. Yeah, if, yeah, he, yeah. if he doesn't, then he's in trouble. Yeah. So. That's poor. But. Moving on, Charlie yeah. Leaf. Oh, actually, quickly, quickly. What have I, I been I up to? What, you what have I been up to? <laughs> what have you been up to, Charlie Oh, Leaf? recently I've been up Shut to quite a lot. My, my football has uh, been go. progressing. I went on an England six-a-side trial. 
You did? I did. And I forgot about this. Yeah, so um, when go? was it? Yeah, it was, well, it was really good, actually. Talk about the day. What so, happened? basically... Where'd you go? Basically, so I, I saw... I've been following, right, all these different England accounts to see how can I represent England at a football level. So there's such as beach footballs, futsal, six or so, all of this, yeah. And I saw on Instagram that six or so were held in tri- holding trials. So I was like, get me on that now. Mate, do I it. saw that the Southern trials are sold out. I was like, oh no. Then I saw the Northern and Midland trials are available and I was like, mate, I cannot let this opportunity slip. So I signed up. You're going. Got in there early. All the way in Birmingham. Right. So this is on a Sunday. Managed to get work off. Swearing, man. Yeah, no. Sorry cool. for sorry, just no, people. Cool. Yeah. All our episodes are explicit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. I left really early on a Sunday. Managed to get work off because I work Decent. on Sunday evenings. Managed to let me off, so thank you, Debbie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, what time? Did I, I must have left at literally like seven because I had to be there for twelve. I was like, I'm going to get her up there early. If anything happens to the car, I've got some time. What? So, Birmingham. Yeah, it takes like three hours. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, mate, I thought it took like eight hours. No, what? <laughs> yeah, honestly, no, in the car. Not it's not, no, it's not like enough. Manchester. It's only the Midlands. Manchester. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I just drove up there, stopped off at a little Starbucks. Starbucks. Um, little coffee, wake me up and stuff. Nice. Then I got to the, it was at the Power League in Birmingham. And, mate, Beautiful. Power League, mate, I don't understand why we don't have it in Brighton. It's, it's like eight different like little football pitches. I think we do. A power league? No, we don't have a power league. We have like Astros and stuff and six yeah. aside, but we don't have like a power oh, league. Oh, I know what you're on about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Anyway, I got up there and I realised, damn, I'm really early. And I could see the signs of the Aston Villa Stadium. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a little <laughs> ground hopper. So I literally five minutes round the corner, I went to the Aston Villa Stadium. <laughs> and then my mate, who also does like the ground hopping with me, I mm. FaceTimed him. I was like, oh, you won't believe where I am. He was like, where? I turned it around, Aston Villa Stadium. <laughs> so I checked that out, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, got to the trial. And it's like it's all proper, like they've all got the England gear on and stuff. Signed in with a little name, and they gave me a little bottle that I've got over there. Actually, funny oh, enough, nice. it says England six aside. Um, and then I uh, met a little scouser. He was a midfielder. Started passing the ball with him and talking. And then there was actually like loads of goal. There was like eight goalkeepers there. Oh, competition! So got, and yeah, we literally got into the warm up, and then basically it was like the outfielders on one side, goalkeepers on another, doing a warm up. Um, and then I was sharp. I was doing doing well. Like I set my standards high. Love um, it. And then we got into like a shooting drill. It was like a, it's like a three attackers, one defender, and then one goalkeeper. The goalkeeper throws it out, and then the, the attackers only have one touch and only four passes. After the fourth pass, you have to shoot. Obviously, you can shoot before as well. So I done well in that. Made a couple of good saves. Then, then they got into a game, and obviously there was only two goalkeepers available. So the rest of the goalkeepers went off in the training. And in six aside, as a goalkeeper, you have to be able to score. Like you're allowed to go to the halfway line and take shots. Like you have oh. the privilege to do that. So anyway, I've got like, I've backed myself to have quite a good strike. Mm. So I was striking the ball well and the goalkeeper coach was like, I want to do some like one-to-one stuff with you. And I was like, oh, that's sick. Like, oh, he is. Yeah, here we go. Oh, he is. So I was doing like this little like layoff drill. So you like go to the halfway line, you do like passing out wide and then back and then take a shot. Did pretty well in that. And then I got sent over to go and goal and I did well. And then they took me off and then like, because they wanted to have a little chat with me, they were like, oh, are you free on the second for this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, how old are you and stuff? And I was like, I'm only 20 and yeah, like, I'll be there. And then they were like, right, we're going to put you on for the last five minutes outfield, see how you do. Last five minutes. He hasn't bagged the goal, has he? <laughs> no scored, way! I scored last no minute. Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bagged. It was so oh, jokes. Unreal. Yeah, so I scored and obviously I'd done well in goal. Um, mate, and what then, a day! Yeah, no, I was just buzzing. I was like, "Oh, mate, that was sick." Um, then they did some like media stuff and a little debrief, and then the big boss manager came. He's like this bald scouser in like a three piece suit. He oh, comes my. up, he's like, uh, "Charlie, I've spoken to the coaches and they really like you. Like, you coming to the second? I was like, "Yeah, like I'll be there. I'll oh, be there." So on the second of April. <laughs> Got a second trial for England six Go on the boy, yeah. that is amazing. Oh, the, boy, well the, done. Oh, thank you. And at the end of the year, there's a World Cup. Oh my! Imagine you make. Do you know where, guess where? Guess where it is? <laughs> where? In the UAE. Just it's near Dubai. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. 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 And they're making a they're making a six aside arena on the beach, mate. It's sick, mate. Imagine, imagine you make it. Imagine if I was like, even if I was on the bench. Imagine if I go to the World mate. Cup. Mate, I'll have to tell my like uni. I'll be like, yeah, I've got to take like, yeah, I've got to take two weeks off. And go mate, to the World Cup. that's unreal. That, isn't it? oh mate, well done. Oh, thank you. That could be it, Charlie. Mate. That could be mate, you. Isn't it? Solidified yeah. in England. You know Eddie yeah. the Eagle. Yeah. 
You know the film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't get into to Olympics, the, to yeah. the Olympics, but he got into the fucking Wim- yeah, yeah. Olympics. <laughs> That's Literally, you. like, I'll get my English That's cap. You, yeah. English cap, six aside. Go on, Eddie. So go on, Charlie, then. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's class, mate. Yeah, and then oh, other than that, that. Yeah, thank you, and other than that, my uh, my team made a cup final. Oh, yeah. So, the 2nd of May, I'll be have a tr- uh, little medal around my neck. I will be going to that. And actually, yeah. we could, I might get some exclusive clips of Charlie Neath mm. in goal and before the game yeah. and after the game as well speak about his match thoughts yeah we'll see how, and, it, uh, see how it goes we yeah. might upload it yeah and then well, little clips yeah we could have made two cup finals but we lost our other semi-final oh. but it is what it is we're in one so that's all that matters nice mate but yeah no, um, I'm not. I'm actually gassing. No, I'm gassing so, you. No, like, thank you. I thought you were going to say yeah yeah I like it played alright but yeah they didn't didn't say nothing to me so yeah. but oh mate Class. Yeah, big time. And oh, was, mate, I, you've I was, been holding that in. Yeah, yeah, literally. Honestly, I did not know that. Yeah. And we, because we haven't, we, we actually don't, we speak, but yeah. we don't actually, it's usually like about the pod and like, we never, what's next. This, this is our like conversation yeah, of the week. Yeah, so, because we like to save it, so you you get a reaction like yeah. I just did, like yeah. actual, yeah, so that's good, man. Yeah, well, should we get into the, the main bulk of the yes, episode? Yes, let's do it. Right, so after that long intro, Mm. Catching up. Today's episode is about public transport and Karens in the in the world. Indeed. If you don't know what a Karen is, can you explain what a Karen is, Jude? Looking at one, mate. No, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no uh, a Karen is basically a person who just doesn't have a good day, pretty much, and they don't like anything in the world, and they take everything really extremely. Yeah, they have to take everything seriously, don't they? For example. <laughs> not a real life situation we will get on to real life situations yeah. I'm in the shop yeah okay I'm yeah. in the shop yeah I'm buying some tomato juice tomato juice yeah tomato Interesting juice choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm buying some tomato juice there's a Karen <laughs> 55 years old <laughs> yeah middle aged I'm I'm in an aisle the aisle's quite thin because we're in a corner shop <laughs> I'm in the way picking my tomato juice. She's trying to get past. I try and get out of the way. I get out of the way. But then she, as she walks past, goes, bloody hell, you couldn't give me any more room, could you? <laughs> I was like, all right. Oh, do you want to say what happened this morning? <laughs> you literally had oh, a Karen this I morning. I walked in the trolley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So In Asda. <laughs> Asda this morning. Doing, doing, my, doing my general online pick. So going around with the uh, going around with the trolley, yeah, and uh, I'm picking some grapes. Yeah, <laughs> putting putting my grapes in the trolley, lovely. Yeah, and then suddenly get a jolt with the trolley. Thought, bloody hell, is that <laughs> guy behind me? He's moved the trolley out of the way, mate. <laughs> he was a worker. And yeah, like, he literally oh, worked for Asda. So what? rude. It was just like it's in the way. I was just like, mate, like it's not. You can literally just go round it. <laughs> Honestly, it does my head in, doesn't it, Charlie? Neef? It does. It does. We've had plenty of occasions where a Karen has evolved. But honestly, like, I want to hear about your one from holiday. Oh, what? Well, okay, yeah. So recent one. Yeah, this is the main. Okay, this is the main. This is one. probably the main one we've had recently. I tend to bump into a lot of Karens. <laughs> Some reason. <laughs> I think it's because I find it really funny. But then I love to take the piss. So. I also think it's because you're not you're not, you're not spatially aware. No, I'm not spatially aware <laughs> at all. But anyway, this was not my fault in the slightest. No <laughs> one's fault on the plane. Sitting on the plane, hour into our journey. There, the there or back? Th- back. Yeah, on the way on back. On the way from, back from, from Dubai. Dubai. Everyone's tired, you know. It's one of them flights where you just want to get home. What, what time was the flight? Uh, was it a late flight? No, nah, it was through the day, but obviously the jet lag is going to be a bit yeah. weird. Um, sitting on the flight. So they, longer flights, they tend to bring food for you. You get your meal, you get a choice. They say chicken or beef if you're veggie, you get the veggie option, whatever. You get a load of stuff with it, bread, salad. We'll talk about salad in a minute. So uh, <laughs> row in front, this woman, she's gone, excuse me. To the flight attendant, <laughs> and I've got all oh, here we go. Oh, to my no. dad, and my dad's got my dad's already my dad's already getting annoyed. I can see just like steam yeah. coming out of his ears, Fuming. like because he's uh, my my dad got quite unwell on the flight, unfortunately. Um, had a bit of a stomach bug. Yeah. Um, 
f- for up a few times or whatever uh-huh. and just w- wasn't feeling great so uh-huh. all he wanted was peace and quiet which is very understandable yeah. and I back it all the way but, he, but he, here's his absolute Karen piping he has, up. Here's his Karen piping up. She goes, excuse me. Flight attendant goes, yes. While she's trying to dish out every every other, yeah. every other everyone's food as well. Yeah. I thought it was green salad. Green salad. <laughs> this salad, yeah. yeah. This salad was like little chickpeas, whatever. Had a bit of greenery in it. Yeah. Seemed fine to everybody else. No one seemed to want to complain about it. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Simple yeah. as. <laughs> they clearly don't have any more salad yeah. for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So she's going, I thought it was green salad. On the menu, said green salad. <laughs> Proper going out this flight attendant. Yeah. And honestly, I can, I'm can. i looking at my dad. I'm like, he's about to say something. About to say something. <laughs> I, and I, I'm like waiting no for it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. And uh, she, keeps, she keeps complaining about this green salad. Keeps going on at her. She's like, can you like... Can you replace it? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Flight attendant's like, ignore it. Literally ignoring her, which is fair enough because she's yeah. been an absolute nightmare. Yeah. So then we, <laughs> um, I'm still sitting there. So I'm trying to watch my Netflix, but at the same time, I want to listen to this because it's, yeah. it's tasty. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the food. Uh, yeah. No, and then, um, <laughs> absolute drama yeah, on the plane. And then uh, she wants to write a complaint. Mm-hmm. Absolutely fine if you want to do that, flight attendant said. But you're gonna have to do it after the flight because we, for one, you don't have any Wi-Fi, and you can't actually buy Wi-Fi on the, on the flight. Oh yeah, but it's so expensive. Fine, it's expensive, and she, oh, obviously, as a Karen, would want it for free. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she's going. No, I want to write one now, now, now. And oh, then, she was that busy. Yeah, oh, yeah, that my that God. that bad. And that would um, actually annoy me. And then eventually, my dad's gone. <laughs> oh my God, honestly, my dad's gone. Just shut up and eat your food and be quiet. <laughs> I look to the guy next to me, he's like <sighs> literally like creasing, I'm creasing, <laughs> like trying to keep composed. No way. And then uh, she's gone, why don't you shut up? And then uh, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my dad was like, look, speaking for everybody else here, leave the poor flight attendant alone. She's trying to do a job and you're bloody winding your mouth. And then my dad's gone, just shut up. <laughs> And then, and, then, and, then, and then honestly, and then honestly, she's just shut up yeah. completely. And uh, I think she was on her own on the flight anyway. She had two people next to her. Yeah. Oh no, a dog. Oh, there um, you go. And Shh. then, uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> she's, and then like we're like getting into the flight a bit more, and um, Dad's still like not very well, not really eating. Yeah. Still going up and down from the toilet. I have to keep getting up, unfortunately. Yeah. But, do you know, anything for the parents, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'm still like watching my Netflix. I was watching The Last Dance with uh, Michael, uh, about the uh, Chicago Bulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is a great watch. Um, Highly recommend. Great watch. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I can still hear her kind of like complaining and stuff yeah. like to the person next, person next to her. Literally couldn't couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Yeah. And um she's still complaining and then yeah, that was about it really. <laughs> but honestly, mate, it was so funny. Your I dad just, actually part of that. I knew funny. I knew like he was going to and I had to actually say to him because he, he was gonna do it again when she was good. Yeah. And I said, Look, dad, like just enough, leave it, yeah. Just leave it. Like there's nothing we can do. Obviously she's a Karen. Yeah. And then uh even the flight attendant was taking the piss out of her. Yeah. Uh, and then my dad went to the flight attendant. Yeah, I'd like to order green salad, please. <laughs> Classic dad yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, and then she was like, "Oh." Um, Did she nibble? The Karen uh, nibbled. Huh? The Karen said something. No, 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 no. Oh, the flight uh, attendant. Yeah. And then, um, because obviously she's a row in front. Yeah. When she got up to like get out and go to the toilet, she like stared directly at us. <laughs> and uh, I'm just like staring her down. It was like in, in a western film or something yeah, like yeah, the cow. Yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, no, it was, it was no, quality, man. Too funny. But rule is with a Karen, mate, take the piss as much as you can because mate, the more yeah. and more they're going to get wound up, the more and more it's going to be funny for the public. Yeah. And you know what? It was a great laugh and I, I just wanted to get off the flight personally. But yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, what would you say, like, how to deal with a Karen or like, why be a Karen? Um, so. I'm actually going to speak from my example this morning. 
funny mm. enough, I just remembered <laughs> me and me as the van. I actually get quite a lot of Karens because I'm on the road. Oh, so yeah. people, people's good road rage are absolutely awful. Um, <laughs> and no. they think that um, they can get past an Asda van for some reason in which I could literally <laughs> mow you down in one <laughs> with that van. You're ragging it. Literally, like, <laughs> I, like one, like I'm like double the size of any car. And two, yeah. I'm getting paid so I can <laughs> wait around all day. Yeah. Like, I'm getting paid at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going, you know, uh, up near the hospital yeah. at Brighton, right? So I've got to turn right up to like near the exit. So this old man's coming down and I'm like, oh, right, this old man's coming. I can see the look in his face. Miserable git, right? <laughs> so I, I've waited, oh. right, to turn right. So I've given him enough space for him to get round and out because th- this road that I need to go up, mm. it's quite a steep hill, like up. Um, like only one vehicle can fit up it. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to wait. So he comes around, he stops at the little like junction thing and he winds his window down and I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going on the curb, mate. And I was like, I was like, why am I window down? I was like, are you driving a tank? <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the that. look on his yeah. face. There was his keys out of the fag. He started cracking up. And I was Are like, I literally turned around. I was like, do I need to move? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he literally was like, not like this. <laughs> he, like, was like, he was like, don't take the piss. So literally... <laughs> The best, the best way to deal with a Karen is take the utter piss yeah. out of them. Like just la- one, either laugh in their face, yeah. or two, just exaggerate and be so sarcastic. Do you know what it is? They hate it. <laughs> Literally, they hate it. <laughs> Do you know what it is? But it's like, um, it's like they don't expect your response. Yeah, yeah, that. literally. So they're like just shocked, like that man. Yeah. <laughs> and um, oh, quick, do you, do you remember in Portsmouth at the roundabout? Well, just cut in front of like loads of people, and then the women weren't in- impressing me. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, no, I'm doing what? So you wait, you had to, you yeah, had to come so round. I blocked off the lane. I blocked. Off yeah, the you blocked it off. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it was like a Citroen, wasn't it? A grey Citroen. Yeah. She had like. <laughs> no, that was too yeah. funny. And but that's what like, you got to be. You got to be assertive. Like, yeah, throwing their arms. Get out, like, get, out, get out of the way. That's honestly like, do you know? Do you know what? I I love it when it's like an older. Person obviously not. No, like Karen, no, not, Karen is literally. Yeah, not like an elderly it's ne- it's person. Never really that, yeah, that young. No one younger, but really, yeah. But with an older person, especially in a car, if they've done something that they shouldn't be shouldn't be doing yeah. or sh- shouldn't have done, what I just do at the moment. <laughs> yeah, a little finger. No, 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 no. And uh, they just. Oh, <laughs> it's like they're barking at you. Honestly, yeah. it's like they're a dog and they're just barking <laughs> at you and you're just like the cat and yeah. you're like if anyone you have a cat and a dog yeah. but let's say if the the dog ever barks at the cat the cat's just taking the piss going Meow. yeah or just like, hissing at it yeah just yeah. and the dog's just getting annoyed but you doing that little finger thing reminded me of mate I've, I've just realised I've been working at Asda what three months now mm. mate I've, I've actually had so many Karens so there was one geezer right so in, in the Asda van right we have the little palm thing mm. that leads us the way yeah, Brian, and it, it's not very good. It takes you all the wrong way. Tells you where it tells you like it's at the other end of the street or whatever. Yeah. So this one takes me down a one way street. Oh, but the wrong way. Oh no! So I've gone down the one way street. Wrong Big way. Big trouble. And this guy's walking in the middle of the road, and I'm like, cause I've not realised that this is a one way street. I'm going down a wrong way street. Yeah. Um, and he's walking, so I start beeping. I'm like beep beep because he's not looking yeah. at me. He's literally looking down at the floor. And he literally points his finger and goes like that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh I'm like what's this geezer doing? So I'm like, why well, am I window down? It's like, do you want to get out the way, mate? <laughs> like, I'm, you're literally in the road. He was like, this is like one way straight, mate. Yeah, you're and in I trouble, like, mate. I was, like, I was like, mate, my palm has taken me down the wrong way. I obviously haven't meant to go down. Yeah. Me. And then so, he, so it is obvious. He's, yeah. like, he's like ignored it because again, they don't expect the response. Mm. I shouldn't have done this. But I, turn, I put the window down, turn around, beat the horn, went, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and I just drove Mind on Mind you the in-betweeners from the, yeah. uh, the car but my my ba- my worst one final one that I've got Go right, on. this this one's actually a bad one because yeah. I was actually waiting in the middle of the road for like 15 minutes yeah. right so I'm going I've, I've done an order right I've actually like done the order finished it off and I've parked obviously in the middle of the road because I can't <laughs> park anywhere else anyway it's, it's like late at night it's like 8 o'clock I don't finish till 11 so I've got better time to spare yeah 
this car comes towards and I'm like they're not going to move out the way no so now I'm, I'm like I'm just like oh, I'll just wait here sweet as and then gotcha. yeah and then like the lady goes <laughs> flings her arm about yeah and she's got like her mum she's like quite old like she's yeah, like yeah. 60 and she's got her mum who looks about 90 <laughs> right and I'm like ah oh, here we go good old Karen <laughs> yeah and I'm like I'm like go in there because there's literally a gap yeah. for this car to turn in and I'm like, you can literally squeeze in, and I can squeeze past, and you can come out. Simple you can, as. You can see one from a mile off as well. Yeah, literally. Anyway, so she's not having any of it. She's she's flaming flaming the arms about, and I'm like, just just go in there, and I'm going mm. through like just like that, right? So she's put, <laughs> she tries to park it in, right, and she doesn't work. And then I realise, right, she needs to parallel park it. And anyway, she she winds the window down, gets out the car. Oh no! And I'm like I'm like I'm like, you need to parallel park it. She's yeah. like. She's like, yeah, I don't have enough room. I'm like, there's literally so much room for you to parallel park Tank. it. There it is. And then, and it yeah, goes. And then she's like, she's like, why are you shouting? I was like, you're shouting at me. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? That way in love. Guess what she does after that? What? Whips out the phone. No way. <laughs> yeah, she starts out, recording. She starts you. recording. She's like, got you on camera now. I've got your number plate. You're, I was like, <laughs> sweet, <this>, mate. Sweet, <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, sweet. I was like, you're probably be doing me a favour. Yeah. She then ends up like parallel parking it eventually yeah took her fucking ages yeah um and then i managed to go past and then i literally just when i drove past i went thanks yeah mugged her off i had like i had a bad well to be fair i had a bad one it was it was it wasn't really my fault but like this is where i actually just like fully was like a bit shook <laughs> of uh, shook. yeah mate honestly so driving down preston circus yeah yeah Preston Circus, there's two lanes to start with. Mm -hmm. So on the left lane, you've got the bus lane mm -hmm. and the bus was in front of me and I needed to come into the right lane to not get stuck behind the bus. Yeah. I had enough time, indicated, done all that. This van, white van, comes racing up behind me. I just got just got out because he raced up behind me. Yeah. And I've gone just like, what, mate? Like, like that. Yeah. And then he's gone, I could hear, I have my window down. Yeah. He's gone, what? What? Go on in. Go on in, mate. Yeah, go on in. Go on in. I thought, oh, no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I thought, please, light, be green, be green, be green. And I'm like, I'm, I'm bad again now, I'm bad again. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, no I'm going towards the lights. And I'm meant to be turning right, but I'm, I, can go, I can go left as well. I thought, escape route, I've got to get out of here because this guy's a lunatic. Yeah. Sounds like a lunatic. Yeah. And he's like, come on in, get out of the car, come on in. <laughs> of course, my luck. Red light. I'm stuck. The stinker. And I'm just like, windows up a bit. I'm thinking, oh, is he going to get out? I hear, literally, I hear his handbrake go. Yeah. Up. I'm like, nope, he's getting out. Yeah. He's got out. This guy's got a fat black eye. Yeah. Literally, he looks rough as nails. Yeah. He's ready to go. He's like, come on in, get out of the car, mate. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, mate, chill out. He's like, don't chill me to chill out. You ain't normally a dangerous driving. So, mate, look, honestly, chill. I indicated, right? I was a bit shivering me timbers. Yeah. And uh, obviously, my adrenaline has just gone. Whoop. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, mate, like, obviously, yes, I maybe shouldn't have pulled out, but I had enough time. I yeah. got out. That's the main thing. You're safe. I'm safe. I said, look, just get back in your van. Have a good day. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, no, get you out of the car. Get you out of the car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I was like, so like, mate, what am I going to do? Was he an absolute loony? Mate, he was a loony. <laughs> honestly, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And how embarrassing as well for me, because everyone's at the traffic lights <laughs> just looking at me. Oh, people's reaction. I'm seeing like, oh my God. Oh my god! Like, what's going on? It's about to be a fight. Yeah. And then eventually, bloody hell, he's gone. Like, he's walked. He's walked back to his van. Cause I don't know. He's like, he must have like <laughs> wanted to get back in. Yeah. He's about to come back, and before he's come back, um, the I, I looked to the car like by the side of me. And they've gone. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like, I was a bit like chilled, but at the same time, a bit like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, that was a bit. Bit dangerous, like you could have done anything there. Yeah. Just never know. Um, and then, whew, light saviour, literally Darth Vader vibes. Green light comes on. <laughs> I'm like, mate, see you later. Yeah. And he's got back in his got back in his van. Yeah. I've turned left. He's come up. He's come up by the side of me. Still shouting at me. 
And no I, way. I've got my window up now. Yeah. Because I didn't want to hear any more of it. But I can still hear him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, no mate. Way. I'm like, oh, what? That like, is and jokes. then eventually he's turned off, I've turned off. And I was just like, bloody hell. Yeah. But, mate, honestly, it was bad. <laughs> um, I've got one more that car story. One uh, more. You just reminded me of another, another two. During that story, you reminded me of Go another on. two. So... <laughs> This this one's a just eat one, so I probably I probably um told you about it loads of time, yeah. Um, but basically, just eat a little bit of context. You sit on the moped, um, around Brighton, like just like the Asda delivery. Oh, yeah. So you deliver it just like just like delivery. You've probably all had delivery and all that bollocks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm in Hove, on like the you know like the the main road. Where is it called? Uh, you know, like Hove, Hove Lawns. Oh yeah. Near the beach. Yeah, yeah. And that long road, like near I three sixty and all that, like that main road. I can't remember what it's called. Hove it's Lawns. The south, co- the like the coast road. No, it's not got that, mate. Um. Anyway, I'm <laughs> going down that right, and I'm in the right hand lane, right. Bear in mind, like I can't remember what the highway like code is. Like I was probably in the wrong. Right, mate. You're not going to get judged. I was probably in the wrong here, but at the yeah. same time, like I was doing the speed limit, so they're capped at like thirty miles an hour. Mm. So you can't do any more than like thirty-two. Yeah. Right. So I'm going in right-hand lane. Right. Obviously, it's the overtaking lane, <laughs> and there's actually a camera on that road. So I'm going down it, and this woman undertakes me, and like cuts me up. And I'm like, oh, what no. are you doing? So I like beat the horn, like the, the, the moped beep. So <laughs> it's like, meep, meep. Yeah. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not having this. Like, yeah. I then undertake her, <laughs> yeah. right? Because like, obviously on a moped, you can just weave in and out of traffic. Yeah. Then it Shrank gets to these vibes. lights, right? It gets to these lights. I got, I'm still in the right lane because I'm taking the piss. Like we just said about <laughs> any car. I'm taking the other <laughs> piss out. I'm taking the piss. Right. So then I, the, the lights are coming up and it's, it goes red and I'm in the right hand lane and I'm like, Right, I could chat to her because she's going to be on my left. <laughs> what does she do? She uh, cuts me up on the right again. Oh, no. Right? Why is the window down? She's like, what are you doing? Oh, no. I was, like, I, was like, I was like, what are you doing? You are legally undertaking me. It takes a while, doesn't it, to process yeah. what they say. And then you're like, I'm going ham, mate. Yeah, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not having this. Like, my adrenaline, like you, like, starts yeah. going up. And I'm like, I, start, I buzz. I buzz off it. Yeah, yeah. So jokes. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm like, like, why are you undertaking me? Like, that's so dangerous. I'm on a moped. She was like, you've got an L plate on, blah, blah, blah. You can't be on the right-hand lane, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm doing the speed limit. Like, what's Wait, your problem? What? I can't be in the right-hand lane. Yeah, you can't be in the, like, you can't be in the overtaking lane if you're a learner on a moped or something, if you've got uh, an L plate. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. So I probably was in the wrong, but at the same time, I was doing the limit. So it's, mm. I wasn't slowing traffic down. I was. I literally turned around. I was like, are you in a rush? Is that your phone? Yeah, that's your phone, mate. Who's Every phone episode, you? I'm a sister. But yeah, other than that, she just like started whining at me and then the lights went and I went, Oh, I mate. Went, bye. Yeah. It's always, it's always the bye. Yeah. But, like um, bye. What's your one? Your final one? Uh, Final one. So, <laughs> I think I, I don't know if I told you, I think I told you this morning. Uh, So, I crashed my car back in summer. Oh, yeah. I didn't, wow. Well, Someone reversed into me, basically. Yeah, uh, reversed into a main road right in front of me. Couldn't stop in time. Smashed into the back of them. Game over for the car. Car See shattered. Later, shatter, yeah, shattered to pieces. Written off. Poor Felicia, man. I do miss you very much. You was a great car. Rest in peace. Um, so we were... Yeah, we was on a very tight road. So on the road, you can only really fit one car. One car has to pull up by the side of where the yeah. other cars are. Uh, to pull in, pull out, etc. And uh, cars crashed. You can fit cars by. Mm-hmm. Uh, fine. But my car is a little bit in the way of the road, but obviously you can't move it. Yeah. So now we're it's on the enough. phone to the uh, people to come pick up the car, the, like the waste people, whatever, um, car people. Yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this woman pulls up in a big 4x4. Four four. Yeah. <laughs> pulls up does down the window stops she can get past by the way yeah can't you move your car out of the way <laughs> sorry <laughs> car out of the way have you said the car it's absolutely written <laughs> off have you said the car and my mum's like reacted that like my mum was here at the same yeah uh, so I called basically I called my dad and then uh, he went here so um, called my mum come down basically and uh, then uh, my mum's like reacted and gone out oh, 
do one. <laughs> but I've like, I've just, I've just laughed. Like, are yeah. you sure? Like, we can get it out of the way. Like, yeah. I can't even move it. I can't even start the car. Yeah. Um, and she's like, oh, don't worry anyway. She just literally drove off. I'm like, oh, good fit your car then, didn't yeah. you? You didn't even need to say that. Yeah. But it's just like stupid. Yeah. Then one's kind of just like annoy me because you're like, what? Yeah. Like, what? What human are you yeah. to say something like that? What go through your head to say something yeah, like that? Yeah, the ones that actually get to you are just... Oh, tiring. mate. But, um, but yeah. So, yeah, moving on. the Moving on to other public transport. So recently, yeah, went to the Arsenal game with yeah. uh, one of the boys. Arsenal. Um, Arsenal, no blood ever, ever. Um, <laughs> Then, we've got uh, to do that way. we've got to do that every time now we mentioned yeah. either Arsenal yeah. or Tottenham yeah. <laughs> that's a little, yeah. little podcast trademark <laughs> oh, <that's> a, oh, <laughs> and then uh, um, so the Tube yeah London gotta yeah. love the Tube very busy place yeah very busy place nice and hot a lot of people smell uh, no I don't very don't. sweaty it's disgusting very sweaty very confined space yeah so we were on the tube on the way to the Emirates, uh, getting off at Highbury and Islington from the Victoria, got the Victoria line, Highbury and Islington. Just have to show people my knowledge at a bar. Uh, <laughs> and then um, basically, oh, we're like third stop in. Yeah. Really busy. We're literally like this. Yeah. I'm like hanging on like this. Uh, Sam, who I went with, like literally like this. Yeah. Someone's got on. He's got a very big bag on. Yeah. Very big bag. It weren't that big, yeah. but it was a it was a bag, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And uh yeah, maybe should have took took it off. But <laughs> he didn't because he's busy. He didn't really need to. Yeah. And uh this uh woman's got on. And by the way, every Karen <laughs> is not always a woman, but in this instance it was. Yeah. And uh <laughs> <laughs> and um she's got on. She went, excuse me, to the guy. Excuse me. You just take your bag off, please. <laughs> Guy's got headphones on, big, big headphones. Clearly hasn't heard. Yeah. And she's gone. Don't worry, you're completely oblivious to it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hold so it together. Like, it up. like, and honestly, I can't <laughs> hold it together when someone says something like that. So yeah. I'm like creasing, like down below, just like, like cracking up. Obviously, yeah. you know what that means. Bloody, I don't need to reenact that. Um, <laughs> and uh, full of energy today. Um, and then. Yeah, so, and then the guy's like, what? <laughs> she's like, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. The guy's like, no, no, what? And uh, <laughs> she's like, your bag, take it off. And the, <laughs> and the guy's like, no, like, it's fine. Like, people got space. And then, yeah, just, she got off and she was... Oh, yeah, she's always like, nabbing on. The neck, yeah. <laughs> walking away. And, uh, but that is London... Well, ground for you. London Underground for you and trains. They're just a nightmare. Yeah. But Charlie Neef, wrapping yes. it up now. It's been a great episode. Yes. Say. The, the story's been jokes. What is the bare minimum of public transport and a Karen? So dealing with a Karen, well, like we've mentioned, I think I think sarca- sarcasm has got to be up there. Indeed. You've got to be sarcastic because they hate it. Mm. Your response has got to be on point because... They're they're trying to like they're trying to nibble at you. They're trying to get you annoyed and trying to make you do what they want you to do. But if you're sarcastic, you laugh at them, and you have a good response, it then flips and they get annoyed. Indeed, I think that's great. To be fair, yeah. only one I would say where you have to maybe back off a little bit. Yeah, like, like the, dang- like the yeah, incident. Like, the, it's a little like bit the dangerous with the guy but, in the but white van. If it's a, if it's an old person, you can probably get away with it because realistically, what they're going to do? Outpace me? Yeah, no. exactly. This guy just looked <laughs> rough. Yeah, he just looked like a rough English guy. Just yeah. I didn't just think about one your surroundings and two the yeah. environment I mean maybe if I maybe if I had my boxing train then could have done it yeah. but <laughs> yeah, yeah true <laughs> <laughs> quick one two bang on the yeah. floor <laughs> shimmy shimmy he's gone but, see you later um, he's on the road bosh yeah so but yeah we'd be careful with that kind of stuff but yeah take the piss yeah stay cool keep a cool head I just had deja vu that's really weird <laughs> um keep a, I've never done that before uh <laughs> keep a cool head and yeah. um yeah, just go from there. But um, on public transport, though, Ooh, yeah, maybe Ooh. like don't take the piss. Like if you've got a bag on a seat, leave it out of the way. Oh yeah, don't definitely. don't need any of that. Definitely, yeah, don't yeah. Need yeah. It. That's that's where 
a Karen will a- appear out yeah. of nowhere. Or what I would say. Or if you've got that like, stinking food. Yeah. Oh, something don't. something yeah. like that to Keep trigger. A, if you trigger a Karen, that's your fault. Like if you're eating like a fish pie. It's a bit round of fish a pie. Fish, <laughs> a fish pie on the bus or on the train. Yeah, it stinks. No. For one, you're really wrong for that. For two, that's rude. Like it is quite rude. Yeah, because it stinks. Yeah. and people don't want to smell it. And but, it'll trigger the Karens. Oh, and we don't. We don't want to trigger Karens. No, we don't. But as funny as it is, bag, mate, keep it in your bag. Or yeah. Leave it before. Um, but also, what I would say, if you see an older person and they want a seat, or they looking like they're looking for a seat, and they they look a bit fragile and you're sitting down yeah. offering your seat. Be respectful. You're young. You can survive. Yeah, facts. And there will be another seat in the next 10 minutes. Facts. Just be nice. And obviously, at first, look at the situation. If yeah. obviously they look an angry Karen or <laughs> one that you know you can annoy yeah. and they're just like being a bit stupid, then take the piss. Yeah. But if you can play it nice and cool and just have a good day and everyone gets along well that's what we need in this world facts thank you very much yeah well guys if you did enjoy the episode I, I, do you know what Charlie, Charlie, I think it's been a mate blinded mate, episode yeah we come up with some good stories I, I found that very funny yeah I did if you guys found it funny comment down below we want to know indeed if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe in the next few episodes we're going to have guests we so are if you want to see guests who do you want to see down below? If you want to come on, let us know because we want to hear some stories. Be realistic on the guests. We're not going to get on someone who is a, a celebrity. Big boy yeah. celebrity. We, we we have a few names in mind. We could, we do, we could yeah. get on. I wouldn't say celebrity, but we we're, we're going to get some good people on with some good stories. Yeah, and some good topics about what the bare minimum of them are. Oh, definitely, man. So you will see that coming up. Thank you for joining me again, Jude. Yeah, thank you for um. Let me come over, Charlie. Yes. Yeah, of course. Blinding. Yes. Well, if you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> favourite on Spotify, all that. Bish, bash, bosh. Or, See you next week. Yeah, man. Good episode.